I need a break from Dark Souls. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Gundam W Mobile Suit Endless Duel. It's a Street Fighter II clone from the SNES era. No one played it, but I like it. I also watched this anime a long time ago. We'll see how much I remember. Uh, I used to be pretty good at this fighting game. So, and this won't be a long let's play. This will be just a fun one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going in cold. Have not played this game in about five years. I'm going to go hard mode and I'm going to try to beat it without using a single special move. Let's, let's see how this goes. Stakes are high. Place your get Dave points now. Wager them on whether or not you think I'm going to succeed. We're going to have ourselves a fun time. If I go deathless double the outcome. All right, that was a short title screen loop. Okay. So there's a whole bunch of different Gundams we can choose. They're mechs. They're made of Gundanium, an indestructible metal. Although these things can't be destroyed. So I guess the joints are made out of plastic. Uh, I like Wing Zero the best. A lot of people would say that's a cop-out because it's kind of objectively the strongest. Wing is slightly more powerful than many of the others, and Wing Zero has, you know, the best stats, but I actually like it because of one attack that is generally super useful. Uh, we can we can learn all about these. The only... I like Wing, Death Scythe, and Wing Zero. I kind of hate all the others, for playing as anyway. So that's some, some fun stuff to talk about. Let's get going. Oh, and by the way, these stats, they do actually mean something in the game, but these are pulled from, like, the anime, from, like, the, the, the source material. And how it works is there is a generic mech called the Leo, which has a stat distribution of 100, and it's the standard against which all others are married, so, measured. So this is, like, fighting is, like, your agility for how fast, like, the limbs move on a mech. At least in the game it is. In I think you're... No, I think that's it. So, like, your attack speed. So, this is 50% better than a Leo. Weapons would be, like, you know, the guns on the uh, Gundam. Speed is, I think, just your walking speed. And, because, let me see, heavy arms is super slow, as is Sandrock. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, power, not sure. Armor, that's your hit points. Because, let me tell you, old Sandrock can take quite a pounding. Alright, we're starting off with Duo. He's a good one to get out of the way earlier. Death Scythe uh, can be hard to hit. So again, I, I am not allowed to do any special moves. Basically, the screen will flash if I make a mistake or if, and use one. Epsil epilepsy warning right now. Death Scythe is pretty good, but it is not durable. It's a bit of a glass cannon. So this beam saber attack. We got our... Oh, one sec. If an enemy is at range, these uh, crosshairs will appear, and we can shoot either three or six bullets, which don't do a ton of damage, but they can add up. They're very easily... Oops. They're very easily blocked. And you take no damage passing through the block. But you can really... Add some nice chip damage, and it, it accumulates quite quickly, actually. All of the main Gundams can do it. Heavy Arms actually shoots, shoots 6 and 9 as well, because it's got all the firepower. So that's what happens to your, your punch, or your physical attacks. Most Gundams have... Most have a Beam Saber, or like a more power-oriented weapon, mapped to what would be the A button on the Super Nintendo controller. And then your Y and your X are fast and hard punches. And I rely a lot on jumping or dashing in with... Uh, I usually do the low power kick. I like that a lot. And I like the the hard... You're slowing me down! Uh, what's his name? Duo. Duo Maxwell. Alright. Shenlong's a joke. <laughs> Not that nothing's gone wrong in this fight. Uh, well done. 
So that was a that was a special attack he was using. If he grabbed me, bad things would happen. One thing I forgot to mention about Death Scythe is so it's a little upswing. One sec, I gotta pay attention. Mm, good block, buddy. I was sure he was gonna throw me there. I don't like being pinned. Oh. Yeah, there's this there's a special move. Uh Duo can get two hits off of his normal strong beam weapon, or death beam scythe in his case. Or his uh crouching one. So that's pretty cool. That's a good trick. You can see that power total of 300. Blocking attacks uh, usually restores. Landing hits does as well. And you need power to do your special moves. Usually 100 for a diet version of your super. And 200 for the, the real deal. Oh, I could have had you. He was going for the grab. Boom. And uh, the weak beam saber attacks... Look, I'm not super good at this game. I'm pretty good. The, some people can do, like, really insane combos, but I think the weak beam saber attacks are kind of a waste of time. They just... The positioning on most Gundams, like, where the blows actually go, not particularly useful. Like, this is... It's so high, and then the low one is so low and not great range on either, and... You're better off just getting more power, because it's, like, I think your frame rate's pretty similar on both. Anyway, I don't play a lot of fighting games, but I played this one a ton, and it gave me bad habits for Street Fighter 2. One sec. Heavy arms can actually be a little difficult, because up close he has, yeah, there you go. He's got a good grab. And, uh... The pilots of the enemy mechs change depending on who you pick. Because in the show, like, different characters sometimes trade mechs and everything. So if we picked Troll, we would be fighting Hero in Heavy Arms. We have Hero. Uh, they do have different characteristics, and Troa is good at what he does. Ugh. I accidentally aimed it up just a little bit. That's one of the better uh, supers. Oh, I knew it. As soon as I missed on that second swing. Alright, first loss. Sudden death, that's good. This is what I wanted, Troa. I'll make that trade. So in Street Fighter, you can't block in midair, but in this one... Oh. Okay, that got, we got out of that pretty clean. Oh, I can't believe he had enough ammo for that. One disadvantage of using the beam saber so much is enemies recharge more. Come on! There we go. Even if he blocked it, it would have gone through. Because there's a little bit of damage bleed on a beam saber attack. Um, they regenerate more power if they block a beam saber attack, so... I believe in my own justice. That's pretty messed up. Although he has some problems. <laughs> These kids were raised to be killing machines. It didn't work. Go, well, not great in the short run. Ugh. So, Sandrock is terrible. Gra granted, he is, he is really kicking my butt right now. Okay. He can just take so much pounding. A little bit like your mom in that regard. Hey! Welcome to the Let's Play. Yeah, this is one of the worst special moves of all time, but he might actually... Oh. Yeah, thank you. Copying my move. Ugh. 
there's a move I really like to do. Didn't get a chance to get it off. I'm a really big fan of the... You go for the low, strong kick. And then dash in and get it again. Because there's a lot of... Oh, shoot. I hit that. <laughs> I've remarked on this before. I use a PS4 controller and the triggers are really twitchy on it. I gotta fix that. The, <laughs> the fast... The turbo mode button is mapped to my... To map to my left trigger. It was really good for the FF4 randomizer. Not so great for the fighting game. That's more indicative of how good Sandrock is. It's powerful, but so slow. I believe in my own justice. Neat. Couldn't write a new line of dialogue. Okay, Zex is no joke. It's pretty powerful. Tall Geese is statistically... Oh, shoot. Statistically the weakest. It's like the the original mech that all others are based on. Ugh. But the AI for Zex is just so good. Very aggressive. So it's always a pretty intense fight, actually. I think... There we go. I think he only gets four pellets from his, uh, from his gun. I think he gets three and four. I could be wrong on that, but I think Tall Geese, V8, and Mercurius. We'll meet those other ones. Oh, yeah, that. Come on, dash into it. You know you want to. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't have his guard up when he did it, but... Yep, saw that one coming. Oh! One problem with the... Oh, one sec. I can pull this off. <laughs> Head smash. One problem with the high, hard punch from Wing Zero is the hitbox is really janky. Even though I have a spiked shield... That's a good way of regenerating all of his power, too. Oh, I thought I could get him on. Not quite the right gap control. second one, I thought he had me. Oh, I gotta stop rising to that bait. We're playing with each other. But not in a weird way. Just a couple of bros enjoying each other's bodies. Oh. Yes! Alright. Let me know how your wagers went. Okay, now we'll either fight Zex in Wing or Troa in Wing. Both of those are... <laughs> this is my first time playing the translated version. Oh, never mind. We got to do your V8. Uh, in the show, she never pilots a mech. And then Noin, who's a pretty cool character, is going to be in Mercurius, but she never pilots Mercurius. This is actually like a backup Gundam in the show. And then Duo destroys both Bay and Mercurius. Because he's a badass. He's also a pretty great character. It's kind of got like a John Wick thing going on. Oh. Yeah, getting close to Bay can be a little difficult. Alright, good stuff. It's also designed to go in space, so it's hovering. Oh, I don't want to lose to V8. This one I run really hot or cold against. It's got some similarities to Heavy Arms as well. It's got a couple good hard attacks up close, but it's really more of a ranged. Ugh, oh, I did it again. Whatever, you're still in trouble. 
Yeah, booyah. Yeah, I would say that was a good example of running hot and cold. The music to this game is pretty good as well. It's no Street Fighter 2, no Yoko Shimomura, unless you did it for this game as well. But it's not as good. <laughs> but I think still pretty exciting stuff. See, I don't want to dash in. You can see I'm using the unsuccessful jump-in tactic a lot, but I'm okay with sawing off. And there we go. Oh, I botched the, uh, the dash input again. There we go. Uh, the danger with dashing on the ground in towards V8 is if V8 fires off its super, you're <laughs> you're, uh, you're gonna get a lot of damage. Mission mission complete. Nine, Mercurius. This is also Mercurius is super defensive. It's got these shields it can put around it, which yeah, and that attack, which makes my standard approach pretty difficult. Basically, I'm waiting for... Oh. This isn't going super well. I'm not having good gap control here. Yeah, do it. Oh. <laughs> we had the same idea. Weird. A little bit of collision detection problem. All right, uh, a little embarrassing. You didn't have to keep doing that to me afterwards. Good times, CPU win. I don't want to lose a match. I won't. Oh, shoot. I won't use a superpower even though it would help. So what I am foregoing is basically a lot of shooting attacks that would really help me fighting an opponent like Mercurius, who really only works at close range and doesn't have... Oh, shoot. Doesn't have a lot of ranged options. I can also turn it into an airplane. Yeah, I misspoke. I've got a lot on my mind. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I can do that, too. That's not a super move. Come on, run out. Okay, there we go. Yes! <laughs> yeah, so Mercurius is invincible when that thing goes out. It, it can be bad. I think in the show there are, like, four little shield generators. It's a cool idea, I think. You don't see a lot of that. It sort of uses them as a whip sometimes. There we go. Oh, I figured you out. There we go. Whew! Cool. Consistent improvement there. I think we only have two left. Let's do this in one episode. A one-off, if you will. Wing and then Epion. So, the idea is Wing, Sandrock, Shenlong, Death Scythe, and Heavy Arms, like the main character's five Gundams are like the original ones. Then there's a couple better ones that use something called the Zero System. So when Wing gets destroyed, spoiler, uh, Wing Zero is later or it was previously developed? I think it was the one that like all the guys who built the first five worked on together. But it's got something called the Zero System, which sort of reads your mind and also starts showing you what's gonna, what it thinks is going to happen in the future. Uh, it kind of makes people sometimes go insane because you're seeing all these outcomes and like it's running all these probability calculations and you start like seeing a thousand different ways you could die and stuff one sec this is some pretty cool music and the fight with troa is always good and now you can see what he can do oh, fell for it again we wanted the same move
Oh. Stay down. Yeah, you can see the bad hitbox on that high punch. Bum bum. Bum bum. Bum. Ugh. Wing and Wing Zero have almost identical move sets. Technically, like. So it's got a Buster Rifle. Just like Wing Zero. Yeah, I've got a gun just like that and can do lots of shooting like that. Technically, for my special, instead of taking two big shots, I take four. It, like, splits in half. But I think it actually does. It might do less damage. Oh, shoot. That was embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah, like, that's really good. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, no! I thought I had the block. <sighs> well... This... <laughs> this, is, this is meaningless. Alright. I'm gonna call the episode here, because I actually kind of have to go to the bathroom. Gonna come back, gonna get vengeance. See you shortly. Well, or maybe tomorrow. Or maybe in 10 seconds. Have a great day. Or 10 seconds. Press the stop recording button, but it's still what kept going.